Hello, in today's technical corner, we're going to be talking about a probing cycle inside of Autodesk PowerMill. Clinton, it's something I haven't come across before, so tell me more. Yeah, well, probing inside CAM software, it's not revolutionary, is it? Um, but PowerMill has not had probing at all, ever. Um, and so, if you were an Autodesk software user and you were manufacturing and you wanted to use probes like a Rhenish or Spindle probe uh, to measure parts during your manufacturing process, mm -hmm. From the Autodesk suite of products, we would have advised that you use Power Inspect. So Power Inspect allows you to create the probe path, output the NC code to the machine, all of that good stuff. But you would then have to combine that with Power Mill for your milling cycles to machine and measure your component. So of course that would revolt, result in you uh, having to learn two pieces of software, have two licenses, um, and also the, 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 the pain, if you like, associated with having <laughs> multiple files to manage as well. And so a lot of our long-standing PowerMill users for, for a while have said, you know what, we'd love it if you could add some basic probing functionality into PowerMill, and so that's what we've done. So you've taken Power Inspect, taken probably the best bits out of that and put it inside of PowerMill. Is that what you've done in its simplest form? Yeah, well, what we haven't done is rewritten probing because that would be inefficient, and obviously mm -hmm. Power Inspect has some pretty cool probing strategies within it. But what we've done is taken the goodness out of the Power Inspect product and plumbed that into PowerMill. What that allows our users to do is to create a probe tool Nice and simple, create the mm -hmm. stylus, the probe body, etc. But they can also then generate a probe path. Uh, so it's like a tool path, but obviously it's probing. Um, it's based on wireframe geometry. Mm -hmm. So you could import a curve, you could sketch a curve onto the model, you could extract a curve from um, the model as well. That probe path exists effectively as a tool path within your NC program. It sits alongside your milling cycles. So you can then just post-process that file with a modified post-processor, it has to be said, um, but that file you can then transfer to the machine tool. So by adding that surface probing into PowerMill, it, it just it removes the need for you to have multiple products. Everything's happening inside one environment. So it's obviously just a, a much simpler user experience. Sure, to me it sounds like a no-brainer. If I'm, if I'm creating a, a machining program, on one bit of software, why wouldn't I create the, the, the path for the probe as well? But these spindle probes can, well they are, they're, they're very expensive. Mm -hmm. So have we got anti-collision functionality on these paths as well? Yeah, very much so. Um, PowerMill, as, as we've seen for many, many years, has had the ability to identify collisions um, and allow you to, to avoid them, take steps to prevent you from smashing up your expensive Rhenish or probe. So yeah, that's another great feature mm -hmm. here. PowerMill has got those simulation and verif verification tools. So of course, once you've generated your tool path and you've sent it to the machine, what's really important is, is how do you interrogate the measurement results that you've captured on the machine tool. And so we, we, we've included in this release of PowerMill some pretty cool technology for collaborating and reviewing the inspection results. So if you're a PowerMill user with a, a perpetual license or you're a PowerMill user with a subscription license, you can create these probe paths and save them to machine mm -hmm. tool. But if you're a PowerMill subscriber, you also have the ability to use Autodesk Drive to take the results off of the machine tool, load them onto the cloud, and interrogate the results using a 3D collaborated mm. view. I, I, I think that's very important. I'll tell you the reason why. Quite often, the, the guy writing the code, uh, sorry, um, producing the program is often the guy on the machine mm. tool. Mm -hmm. But in terms of inspecting the product, it's very rarely that person no, normally has to go to a, a different partner, a different manager. Absolutely. Whereas with, with, with collaboration, it just sat on the cloud or, or wherever, yeah. and, and multiple engineers and multiple departments can all dial in. Very much so. And so prior to this, this release that we've just put out there, um, if, if our users were using PowerMill and PowerInspect alongside each other, you would get to the point of probing the part on the machine, you generate a static report, just a document, HTML file that you would then have to socialize with your, your project stakeholders, your, your engineering colleagues, the quality control guy, maybe even the, the, the manager of the shift, and make a decision as to whether that part is good or not. And if it's not, what do you do about it? Mm -hmm. Of course, the beauty here is because those reports are shared on the cloud, I could share that report with you, and you could be sat on a beach somewhere or taking the dog for a walk. Wishful thinking, but yeah. thank you for thought. But we could look at that result and say, you know what, there's a problem there. We need to do something about it and communicate instantly back to the machine operator to say, 
whoa, 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 we need to address this. Let's run this machining program again. Mm -hmm. Let's check the length of the tool because something's obviously gone wrong. Sure, and I see what you're doing with the cloud. We are getting closer to virtual machining, aren't we? Whereas what is on, what we say, what we're simulating essentially is what comes off the machine. Absolutely, yeah. We, we, we want to drive towards the fact where we've got a, a digital manufacturing platform where you've got so much more confidence that before you press that green button on your machine tool, you know that the program's gonna run safely and you've got increased confidence that everything's gonna be golden. Okay, so you've put basic uh, probing functionality. What happens if I want to get some, you know, do some more, get vast reports? Yeah, well, this is the first iteration of probing inside PowerMill, so we'd like to improve it in future releases. But in the meantime, if you did want to do something more advanced inside uh, your, your probing process, so let's say you wanted to calculate a best fit, you wanted to do a delta transformation, you want to do some adaptive manufacturing, mm -hmm then you've still got all that goodness inside the power inspect product. So you can still revert back to using that previous so, work. So it's still, a, it's still a, a current product. Oh, power absolutely, inspect. yeah. Power inspect still exists. We had a 2019 release of power inspect as well. So yeah, all of that technology remains. Um, so yeah, that's, that, that is an a, a upgrade path, if you like, if you want to do more advanced probing. Fascinating. Many thanks. Thanks, Joe. And thanks for watching.